He medicated, please do it. Just me then, yeah. She was singing until it went live and then she stopped and left me on her own. Oh, good no. morning. Good morning, chatters. And good morning, Lexilicious. How are you? I'm okay, thank you very much. How are you? You look floofy. I am I've got, I literally just finished blow drying. Lex Lex clicked into the stream and there was me going blow drying like mad. So I said to her, talk amongst yourself, and she immediately had a conversation with herself that looked amazing. And I was like, I want to hear this. And you missed out. Right, let's see who's in the chat. And the answer is loads of people. So are we ready? Let's go on then. First in was Lucy T. I think she makes a habit of being first in everywhere. I think it's I think it's like she's the record holder for first in us. Yeah. Um, Deb Hughes and Daryl's in now. It is Carol's birthday, uh, Carol Linden's birthday. Happy birthday, Carol. It's also Deb Hughes' birthday. So happy birthday to Carol and Deb. Carol's 29 plus fat. I don't know what Deb is. <laughs> Good morning. Elizabeth Greasley, Kath Palmer. Kath, it was Kath's birthday last Wednesday. Was that the day that you broke yourself, Kath, or have you had a broken birthday, or did you manage to? I can't remember what day Kath broke herself. She was broken before last Sunday's show, wasn't she? Yeah. 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 So she's had a broken birthday. Well, I hope it went well anyway, Kath. Um, <laughs> Mia and Crispy and Jason says, good morning, is it Lex? Yes, for once it is. <laughs> um, good morning, Mandy Michelle, Mike Dando, Jackie Funstuff, Cassie Carl. It's not scrolling. I think my mouse might be a bit weak. Uh, Laura Custon Siebel, Katie Jarvis, Chris Tyler. This face scrolled now. Look, it's shot off without me. Lolly Fraz, Maria Clark, uh, Gas at 64, Steve, Auntie Sue. Yay, Auntie Sue. Uh, Nadine Colkman, Josh is it? No, it can't be Josh, can it? Somebody masquerading as Josh is in. It's only 10 a.m. and yet somebody looks like Josh is up. Maybe it's that homeless bloke again. <laughs> Fandria, Karen's in, Linda UK 99, Claire Borden, Claire Count Juan. Where's me one? Where's my finger? <laughs> Um, Lady Ray, Joan Morris, Laurel D, Lavender Lady, uh, Andrea, good morning, Andrea, Granny Kate, I'm out of breath, Claire, Claire Plant, Claire Count, two, you've got no liters yet, I've noticed, Kerry Davison, the monocle, Craig, the monocle, Deb is 51, congratulations on reaching 51, Deb, uh, Bumblebee, Andrea Turner, Catherine McConnell, Peter Ray's 30th today, is that today? I knew it was, I knew it was this weekend, but I've lost track of what day it is, if I'm honest. So happy birthday to Peter Ray. I'm sure he's not watching. I'm sure he got bladdered last night in anticipation and is sleeping off this morning. Um, oh, yeah, Kath's been broken for well over a week. She's been broken for 10 days already. And in time flying, I mean, not for Kath, presumably, but, you know. Store 69 UK says, how do you both look so polished at this time in the morning? Should have gone to spec savers, mate. I mean, Lex looks lovely, but I've just blow dried my hair. So I'm going to look a bit more polished in a minute because I'm going to do live hair straightening. <laughs> um, Heather's in, Sam's in, Ashley Carruthers is in, and Joy Dickinson is in. Good morning. Every oh, did I say Janet Plant? I don't know if I did. Good. I'm Wolf and Creative. Good morning, everybody. Lovely to see you all. And Wolf and Creative is a Claire, Claire Count three. Oh, look at my fat arm. That arm's got fatter during lockdown, hasn't it? Definitely. <laughs> Your arm's got thinner during lockdown. It has. <laughs> <laughs> you're back to your pre-lockdown weight, you told us. Don't even sit there and pretend you're not. I am, yeah. So all of the cakes, well, not cakes, I've had one cake. All of the snacking that I've done, um, it's okay. It's back to regular levels. Um, and done all the damage. <laughs> and the damage, and it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to be siphoned out to undo all the damage I've done, I think. But it doesn't mean that I can buy new clothes, does it? No, because. Tell tell them why you can't. Oh, Jackie says your hair looks great as it is. That's because you can't see a close-up, Jackie. And because you're not trying to spend time in the same room as it. Because it's not. <laughs> anyway, tell the people. Tell the people what's happening in May or not happening in May, Lex. I'm trying not to frivolously spend money on stuff that I don't need. So I feel like you tweaked that, that, that challenge okay. slightly. Okay. It's no, no, no. I'm not spending any money. And then it went, oh, I'm going to need food. Right. I'm not spending any money except on these three things. Okay. Food, as in, you know, regular groceries. So um, not chocolate? Huh? Not chocolate? I've got a supply of chocolate anyway. Right. So your regular groceries, um, business stuff, and tobacco, because that's an addiction. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah. So okay. those are the things I'm allowed to spend money on. And bills, presumably, because they don't go away, do they? 
Oh yeah, that's true. Well, okay, Bill, I don't bills are spending, do you? No, no, that's that's like that's compulsory. It's more like being being robbed than spending. Yeah, it's also <laughs> that's like saying like, oh, and I'm not going to pay any tax for this month yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm on an economy drive. I'm not paying my tax. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll send them a message. Let them know. By the way, in May, I'm not paying any tax. Yeah, and that's for back saying. By the way, in in whatever month comes after May, and that's how lockdown has affected me. In June, you're going to prison. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Georgina's in, and Lainey is asking Georgina how her head is. I think there may have been some drinking with Andrew last night that possibly went a bit. Arrive. Go, go, go hard up, go home. I think some of last night's drinkers yeah. were Andrew. Yeah, yeah. Like, they all went hard, and then we're glad they hadn't, didn't have to go home because they were already there. <laughs> yes, yeah, so from what I heard about stuff, there was people getting naked for money, and oh, you know, yeah. I mean, who who would get naked for money? I surely wouldn't do anything Absolutely like. Absolutely bloody not! What a disgusting idea. Terrible. Super chat me 10 quid now, take me top off. <laughs> I absolutely won't. I absolutely will not do that. I lied. Karen <laughs> um, says your picture's nice and clear this morning. Are you on the new iPad? No, no, I'm not. Okay, you are on the internet today then. Yeah, I'm, I'm tethering off my phone. I don't know what that means, but well done, you. It's a hot spot on your phone. You this conversation. It's hot spotting. I know what hot spotting means. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Sam is currently stood in a queue of fifty thousand people outside B and M's. Fifty thousand. Wow. Have you noticed that as well? It's a mental thing. You get there and there's like four people ahead of you. You're like, oh god, oh my god, look at this queue. Yeah. <laughs> and it's because the queue is thirty meters long, despite the fact there's only four people in it. <laughs> I know. Like when I, when I went to Tesco the other week. It's actually been like two weeks since I've properly left the house. Yeah. Like, other than I think once I've been across the road, but I've been here for like two yeah. weeks. Um, but yeah, the last time I went to Tesco, like the queue was right the way around the car park. It seemed to go on for miles. And then you join it and you're like, oh God, it's going to take an hour. And it probably took about 15 minutes to get in. So it wasn't that bad, even with it going all the way around the car park. It was a lot. And the worst thing you can do when you're standing in that queue is start watching something on your phone because you look up and the, the queue in front of you has moved off and the queue behind you are literally wanting to kill you. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like if they had horns. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, we've got a couple more people have joined us. So Amber Hardian's in and Patricia Mum of Five Sons has come in. And oh dear, it's shot off again. If anybody else is coming, oh Heather Tinkler's in, Jem Sink's in, Kristen's there, Georgina's never drinking again. That's I think that's a famous stee line, isn't it? Joan Morris wants to know why you're not spending. She said it's fun to spend, Lex. You deserve treats. Go and spoil yourself. Get thee behind me, Joan Morris. I know. Is she and right there? there? Yeah. Little demon on your shoulder. <laughs> Georgina was would like to make to announce that she was not naked. I don't know who was, but apparently it wasn't Georgina. And um, store sixty nine says I get paid to not get naked. Yeah, that, that's good. Like, super chat me ten quid. I'll keep all my clothes on. How's that? Can't say fairer than that. <laughs> oh dear. Kirsten says we don't have a queue at our supermarket, but I can see the car park from my house until I wait till it's quiet. Now there, there's crafty. I need to get some kind of long range telescope so that I can see what the queue's like at Tesco. I could, no, if I stood on our roof, I could probably see, but it's not really worth the risk, to be honest. <laughs> Climbing on the roof's a bit extreme, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mandy says it's in six, she's only been out to put the bins out. You'll get to the point where, Mandy, where you're dressing up for that. And you're going, oh, it's Thursday, it's bin night, what shall I wear? <laughs> uh, Sam says, the thing is, it only opens at half ten. I thought it was clever at getting here for ten, clearly not. No, don't. Honestly, don't go shopping first thing in the morning because everyone is thinking that right now. Oh, I'll get this done and then I'll come back and, you know, can relax and stuff. Go, like, the best time for shopping in Tesco's is, like, five o'clock in the evening. Yeah, when everybody's having their tea. Yeah, Or exactly. cooking their tea or thinking about their tea or adding up of everything and just lying in a chair wishing wishing they hadn't done whatever they'd done that day. Yeah, honestly, go last on. night. I was like, just like, today's been a very, 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 very long day. <laughs> Uh, Massive Action says, my sales are starting to slow down now that B&Q stores are open. They're not spending time at home online no more. I don't know what you sell, Massive Action, but um, 
if it's they sell wood wood panelling and <laughs> bags nails. of paper. Yeah. yeah. And um what's what's the oh what's the stuff that you put on fences? Creosote. Creosote. You sell I don't think they make it the same anymore because you used to smell it when you walk past people's fences in summer and it mm. doesn't smell the same anymore. It's probably got something illegal in it. You know, it's got cocaine yeah. in it. Cocaine. Julie Garrett and Julie Haynes are in. So if you want to do a Julie team this morning instead of a Lisa team, you'd be on too. Oh, yeah, because we've got no Lisa. So we'll have the, we'll have the Julie crew again. Yeah, Julie crew. Yeah, that was it. I've, 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 I forgot something. Lainey says, Andrew stripped for a tenner for Peter's birthday. Poor Peter. Sorry, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm kidding. Harry oh, Matthews God. is not something we needed to see. <laughs> Would you have preferred him waxed, Lainey? Because, you know, Andrew's got to go on a date with me and I don't mind incorporating a waxing Andrew's chest into that date if people want to see it. That's that's fine with me. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure Andrew would do that for charity. Andrew, if he's watching, is going, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> um, Indy's in, morning, Indy chick. Uh, Leanne, death by glamour. Ashley says she loved my declutter video. Question, did the dogs put the toys back in the right place? Ashley, you are insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Um I think Molly was offended that I put the toys away in the first place. So I went down this morning and all of the toys were back out. Like stuff she hasn't played with for years, for months. It was just scattered everywhere. So, yeah. Did she be doing that? I've put these in a very specific order and now you ruined it. Very specific order all around the home. <laughs> they, they were all in their right places. <laughs> Mum's gone and tidied them all up. <laughs> no, it's that thing of like... Um, when you you know when when you've had a massive tidy episode, so say if I like tidy my bedroom, or like you know the drawers with all my stationery in and stuff, yeah. When I go and like try and find something, I can't bloody find it because I've tidied it away somewhere. Whereas when it was you know, messy before, yeah, when it was messy before, I could find it instantly. So because obviously the scissors are like on the floor in the corner behind the speaker, that's where they fell. I know yeah. that. Whereas when I've tried them away, I'm like, where the hell are the scissors? That's so Natalie that's all over. I say to Natalie, where is the sewing? She says, it's on the floor in the corner. Why? Well, it fell there. Now, to me, I'm like, and why did you not pick it up? And she's like, she's got nothing, nothing at all. She just she looks at me as if I'm the one who's not making sense with that. <laughs> Julie Coe says, I just missed a bit. A big, bad cat was terrorising mine out of the back. I thought it said was terrorising me. I had this... I had a vision of Julie being trapped in her backyard trying to fight off a neighbour's cat. Big Bad Cat was terrorising her cat out the back, so she had to run and, and defend Aww. it. I thought she meant she was being terrorised. By a tiger. <laughs> um, Joan Morris says, first time she used creosote, she came out in painful hives. I've got a heron, right? Mm. Lainey would have preferred Andrew clothed, apparently, not waxed. <laughs> uh, I think that's one of my own hairs. Brother. Like the way Molly was supervising. Yeah, Molly was very super supervising me while I was doing all the work. Yeah. Uh, Helen's in. Morning, Hi, Helen. Helen. And I just, oh, there we go. Lisa Richards in. She says, Hi, Carla and Lex. I'm away for a bike ride in my tap room on the exercise bike watching you. So you've got Lisa Count One. Lisa Count One. <laughs> Karen says Monty's not really fussed about toys, but he does like a squeaky ball. We have a bit of a war in our house if there's a squeaky toy, so. Oh, Andrea says I've got a hair straightening face, have I? It's just sanding face and a hair straightening face. The sanding face is, I mean, we've all got like a mascara putting on face, haven't yeah. we? Like, a, And a singing face. That one, yeah. Yeah. It's, I, which didn't, is, I didn't even know I had a sanding face until I watched the video back, and apparently I've got a hair straightening face as well. It's a classic. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there you go. Jackie says creosote was banned in 2003 because it was a cancer risk. She remembers that smell. See, well, I knew I hadn't imagined the smell. I didn't realise I was giving myself the potential of cancer every time I took a lungful, though. It's a bit worrying, isn't it? Karen says I've got a mixing face as well. What, when I'm making cakes? Have I got a mix? I'm, I'm going to be so self conscious now. Whenever I do anything that requires the slightest bit of concentration, I'm going to be like, nobody look. <laughs> <laughs> Leanne says, uh, toys are just pointless with my dog. We bought him an indestructible bone and it lasted about 20 minutes. <laughs> As so we've Sorry, go on, Lex. Oh, no, just as Asmi has a, a few toys, which all kind of end up behind the sofa. Yeah. Because um, that's where she keeps them, obviously. Um, and there was one Christmas where <laughs> I 
had got um, as me a Christmas stocking full of toys. My mum had as well. And then my sister brought, like, as me had three Christmas stockings, I had one. <laughs> we've learned toys in them. And it's like, she's cat. She, you know, she doesn't appreciate this. So every year we just give her the same Christmas stocking with the same toys in it. And she, she gives us exactly the same reaction every year, which is just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> It's like when you give them catnip and you expect them to go crazy and they don't care. And you're like, do you even know you're a cat? Azmi loves, well, anything mint. Like, she dribbles all over my menthol filters. So I have to hide her away because she just loves anything minty. And she'll go for a hit in because we've got catnip in, growing in the garden. Every day she goes for a little, like, hit of it. Like, and then she comes <laughs> Right. My dad's cat yeah. used to be crazy about Gaviscon. Every time he had a Gaviscon tablet, he had to break a tiny piece off for the cat, otherwise she wouldn't leave him alone. That's weird, isn't it? That's a brilliant digestive system. There we go. I'm straight. Are you? All of those anti-gay fascists in the 70s would have been delighted to know that you could be straight in 10 minutes, shouldn't they? Didn't they? <sighs> Take, then. No wonder oh. I've got some here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all it takes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes with a with a with a hot thing. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to move the plugs. There we go. I'm straight. I'm not exactly beautiful, but I'll have to do. I have dyed it this morning, by the way. If you're wondering why the heck I was, you know, sitting here drying and straight my hair at ten a.m., it's because I put my dye on this morning. So that's why my scalp's bright red. Ah. And that's why there's a streak. Is it just here? I think I've dyed my face somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but bear in mind, I woke up at. 10 past 7 and by quarter past 7 I was putting hair dye on. It's not surprised I dyed my face. It's surprising I even got it on my head. I was just like, oh. I, um, I had a, a bath yesterday and I uh, for ages I put that, you know that purple conditioner stuff? Like, so I put some of that on my hair so it's taken out the brassiness of the yellow that was coming through. So it's yeah. all greyish with purple roots. It looks good. Your hair always looks good. Your hair always looks funky. But look, look, I've got actual roots, though. See, actual. You're actually going to find out what colour your natural hair colour is, because you haven't known for years. I, I, I haven't had my natural hair colour since I was 11. But it's approximately a dirty blonde, I would say. That's about right for you. Dirty, um, dirty blonde. <laughs> I discovered this morning um, that the plug hole was full of bits of beard. Now, um... it's a bit, of a bit of a puzzle, that, because, you know, there's only me and Natalie that lives here, and while, while both of us have been feeling that we could quite possibly take Brian Blessed on as a contender at the moment. Neither of us are ginger, so it looks like somebody who doesn't live here has been trimming his beard in my sink. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Andy mm. <laughs> says my hair always looks lovely and shiny, and I honestly attribute that partly to the dye that I use, which is the Garnier Nutrice range. <laughs> I was trying to work out this another word, the Garnier Nutrice. I think that's a good dye, and I think the condition is good. And also because the straighteners, because straighteners smooth out the hair follicles and make the light bounce off it more. So it's not really shiny hair. It's more light reflection on, on flat follicles. And, sh and look at me all sciencey. Here comes the science bit. And because you got a compliment, even though I've just literally dismantled your compliment and dismissed it. Thank you anyway. <laughs> You've got lovely thick hair as well. I've got, I've, got, I've got the word lovely doesn't and you know it's it's like you always want what I haven't got, don't you? So people with small boobs want bigger ones and people with big boobs want smaller ones and people with thick hair always wish they didn't have it because it is actually wild and bushy hair. It takes mm. a lot of pain in. I mean I could never get out of the shower, towel dry my hair and leave the house. I mean I could, but I couldn't do that without inviting ridicule from passes. Like to straighten my hair, it's about five like that. Yeah. And that's it, it's done. Yeah, I mean, my, my, mine's probably not as straight as it ought to be at the back right now, but I tend to not care about the bit that I can't see. I only care about the impression I'm making when I enter a room. By the time I leave a room, people hate me anyway, so it doesn't matter what my hair looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Who else has come in? C. Reeves is in, Antoinette Daly's there, Ian the Tack Doctor's in, uh, blah, blah, blah. Daisy May is in. She said that her and her partner give each other the same card every year. <laughs> Kate Kinder's there. Shell Staruni's in. Hi, Shell. Uh, Jackie says, remember when I was a kid sticking your tongue out when you really had to concentrate? My mum still does that. My mum does this. <laughs> and we all go, tongue, mother, mother, tongue. <laughs> I have the shortest tongue in the world. Do You've people got a freakishly short tongue, haven't you? Poke it out down your chin as far as it will go. What the heck? That's It's not even past your lips. I know. 
That is literally it. This is why she's not a proper lesbian, because she would just be so disappointing. I know. Uh, Leanne says, purple shampoo is her favourite, can't use it anymore now, I don't know why. Didn't say why, she just stopped there. Kirsten said, I found a grey hair this week. Get out, Kirsten, leave. Oh, leave. if you haven't, have you watched, um, if you haven't, then you should go over and watch Kirsten's try-on video. Oh, yes, she, definitely. Um, a collab with Mrs M. Um, Kirsten just looks ace in everything. That's Does it. Have you seen? Have you not seen Caroline's one? Are you just deliberately dissing Caroline in, in a kind of a backwards compliment kind of way? I think it is right, Caroline. We we obviously have different tastes, right? So when she tried on the jumpsuit, and Caroline's like, "Oh, I hate it," and I'm like, "Oh, I really like that on you." She's like, "No, no, it's disgusting." Is that and the then, floor, leafy one? Yeah, I, I think. It's it, but I could see what she didn't like about it. So there's no way I would wear anything that was split to the thigh, and I could absolutely see why she wouldn't either. I totally so, understand. I think, like, aesthetically, it was pleasing. And yeah. then things that she liked, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I the same jumpsuit for Caroline, the same jumpsuit, but with proper straps. Oh, see, I'm like, leg, perfect. I think the halter neck looked really, like, it's lengthening. You see a halter neck. Yeah, but I knew why she didn't like it, because of the back bits. Yeah. Because they were so, so if you had proper straps, those bits would have been in. True. Yeah. Anyone who hasn't seen it is just sitting there being bored rigid now because we're just basically having a chat about somebody else's video. Anyway, Kirsten and Caroline have done a collaboration try on video where they each chose two outfits. Go across and have a look. It's Caroline Mrs. M's channel and Kirsten's Curiosity channel. Make sure you watch those videos and subscribe to oh, you you're already subscribed, but if you're not, do it anyway. Um who else is in? I was I was doing who is in, wasn't I? Uh well, I had, you know when I was simply be one. I had a comment left on mine going like, oh, hi, I've come over here um, from Caroline Mrs. M's channel. And I wanted to reply just going, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not going to like it. Yeah. <laughs> you won't like it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lisa Heidinger is in. So there's two. Lisa count two. And uh, I said C. Reeves already, didn't I? Uh, uh, Kirsten said she wants boobs. You can have mine, Kirsten. I'll pack up and send it to you. Uh, yeah, Leanne agrees. Thick hair's a nightmare. Andrea says, "Carly, you know stuff." That was that was the science bit. She was saying, "I know stuff." Claire Kerr says, "You can stop the Claire count. The leader has arrived." <laughs> Claire is uh, that makes it Claire count four, and apparently the top Claire is in. <laughs> Jay is also in. It says, "I've just undercut my hair as it takes a whole day to dry. Otherwise, I've been very much considered undercut at times. Very much considered it." You just shaved one side thing. I think I might be a bit old for that. Also, because of the grey, if I had a shaved side, the upkeep on that on that dyeing that patch is going to be horrendous, isn't it? My honestly, my hairdresser, she every time I've gone in there, she's like, "Can I? Can I?" I'm like, "No." She's like, "What about one of those like micro fringes?" And I'm like, "I'm already edgy enough. <laughs> I need, like, I need softening, not more edge, you know." So none of this. It's like, oh, I could paint like leopard print. It's like as tempting as that is, <laughs> not enough, you know. For me, I think if I had that shape, it the grey would just be a full time job. Trying just trying to keep that patch not being grey. Lenny says her hair is thin, and when I had plaits in the other day, she was thinking my whole hair is less thick than one of Carla's plaits. You're yeah, right, well, we don't have. Mine is like that. That's the amount of hair I've got. It's nothing. And Karen but, says she can wash dry and straighten hers in less than 10 minutes. I mean, it's my own fault that I've got thin hair, you know, because I bleached the, the shit out of it. So yeah. Uh, Shell says Maud wants, wants to let us know that she can touch her nose with her tongue. I can't, I don't think. And I, we want to see that tomorrow, Shell, as well. No, I can't do it. Make uh, sure she wishes her boobs were detachable. <laughs> would be good, mind actually. Would it make, would make sleeping a lot easier if you could take them off at night? I could sleep on my stomach if I could take my boobs off. Mind you, I've taken my stomach off as well. Otherwise, I'd just be balancing like anyway. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, she's got a bit of all her blonde hair. That's why she can't use the purple stuff anymore. Lisa Heidegger, my hair requires management. Or I look like Shirley Temple put her finger in a plug socket whilst wet. Joan agrees the jumpsuit looked fab on Caroline, and so does um, Kate. Um, Stevie has already watched both. Queenie Conquest is in, mother of Norman. Good morning, Queenie. Uh, <laughs> Stu Mandry, I'm going to say it every week now, even though it's not even funny. Sandy Beach, Jane Everton, and I think, I've, have I caught up with anyone? Shiv's in. Hi, Shiv. Oh, speaking of Shiv, I'll be back. Talk to the people, be polite. 
I'll, I'll, I'll have to just hide my Shiv present um, because I'm guessing that's what Carla has gone to get. Um, Joan, you say a micro fringe would suit. I, I did have a fringe before that came just above my eyebrows and I liked it, but um, I, I do think I look harsh enough and I do need a little bit of softening, softening, curls and pretty, you know. Because everything else about me is dead hard. <laughs> so I had a parcel from Shiv in the week. Shiv parcels um, are great. Shiv does do great parcels. And it had in it a variety of gifts. So I had sunflower seeds, which I need to go and plant. I planted all the vegetable seeds yesterday, so I've got to plant the sunflower seeds now. Planted your seeds for you, Mum. had a moisturising charcoal foot pack. I had a card with a cow on it. I'm not sure if that was a dig or not, but okay. <laughs> And um, I had this. Now, I believe you had something similar. <laughs> <laughs> I had an Easter chick. So, so Shiv sent an Easter chick. It's got, it has three, it has, oh God, they're stuck. It has three Reese's eggs that sit in the bottom, but I'm going to take those out so that I can hold it up like bowling eggs all around the room. And it looks like this. So the three Reese's eggs sit in the bottom there, and it's a chicky sitting on a little nest. Isn't it fabulous? That's so cute. Isn't it wonderful? And then... <laughs> Nothing dodgy about it at all. Nothing whatsoever dodgy about it. It's got a little beak. Look, I, I think. It's, and then when you pull the head off, it's a massive cock, which I thought was nice. <laughs> so um, thank you very much to the amazingly creative Shiv for that little number. But that's not all. So I also had this. Now I've got to make sure that I um got to make sure that I put it on right. So bear with me. I'll be back. And then just bought me a coffee from the coffee. Mm. Okay, she's got me this. <gasps> it's a fringe. It is, but it isn't just a fringe. I've got it wonky, haven't I? It's not just a fringe. It's a fringe selection pack. <gasps> <laughs> yes. So I've got a brown fringe. A blonde one, <laughs> a slightly more sparse ginger one. I like that one. <laughs> and then this blue one for funky days. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? Shiv is so creative. <laughs> really is. You need to do videos on this stuff of like the crazy things that you make. And it just, and it just, just fastens. She's making like so, so. You can see it's a hairband. One of those ones with teeth that slides in and then. <laughs> Yeah. I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know how she comes up with her ideas. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? I've got hair all over my face now. Bear with Oh, my yeah. hair is really static this morning as well. But seriously, Shiv, you, you should record yourself doing these. Like, yeah. Shiv, just... you, if you had a channel, it would be so epic. You should definitely... You should definitely start a channel and, and show us that. And show us that, because that's just epic. I mean, look at you can, you can a bit closer. You've got a brown one. So much fun. Um, I say the blonde one, which is a lot more um, Jim Carrey in Dumb and Dumber, I feel, that one. Yeah. And then, oh, that one's curly. You probably couldn't see the curls from a distance. I don't know no. if I showed the curly one. I might have flipped that up. There's the ginger one. And yeah, and then the blue one, which I really like the blue one. I think it would go nicely if I was wearing the blue wig and the fringe wouldn't sit nice. So I think that's absolutely amazing. And I think Shiv is the cleverest person on the planet. She also sent a parcel for Jackson, which I have forwarded on to him. So Aww. thank you for that as well, Shiv. That's lovely. Jackson had a lovely birthday, by the way, according to Jackson's mummy. Um, I am scrolling back up. I've missed so much chat while I was playing with the um with playing with the fringes. Um Oh, Caroline's in. She says, all the people saying the jumpsuit looked nice and we did not see my back fat pouring over the top of it like raw sausage meat. It didn't look that bad, Caroline. I think you've um, I think you've you've seen you've seen the worst side of you than what we saw because it really didn't look that bad. But I could see what you didn't like about it. I could see why it didn't why it I wasn't. Think that definitely though, halter neck really suits you, Caroline, because it is quite you know, that that column, that central column. It's very flattering. Yeah. I think. So a halter neck with a slightly higher back, maybe. Yeah. Like it was on both sides, you know, so it's yeah. just the shoulders that are out. Yeah, because you can get a halter neck. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, dogs are barking. Sorry, if you can hear the dog. Uh, uh, Kai's barking in the garden, which means Buddy will probably start barking in the house what, anyway. What? What? Uh, what? Ashley Carruthers says, if you have a cow's lip, don't get a micro fringe. Speaking from experience, did one side go up and one side go down? <laughs> um, uh, Lisa's trying to track down Ashley in, in a nice, lovely, lovely stalkery kind of way. <laughs> I'm only joking. Uh, people are talking about thyroids. I know nothing about thyroids. That's not my field. Oh, Julie Pierce is in. Julie, Julie Pierce, Julie Crew, Julie Crew three. Hey, I can't keep up with this. J Crew. <laughs> I cannot keep. In J Crew a shop in America. It is yes, and they do rather expensive jewelry. Well, expensive ish. Yeah, Kirsten says that fringe selector has Etsy all over it. <laughs> and someone said that you could use it as a moustache one as well. <laughs> Put it around there. <laughs> oh, I'm winning at life. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Cass's Jackson's painting the dogs were really, really good. They really were. We've all got, we've all got, Um, I've got to put mine up because I was thinking I could put it there and then I realised it was slightly wider. So I think I might put it up above the door, but then you guys can't see above the door because I moved the computer. So that doesn't help. So anyway, I'm going to put it up somewhere. I want to put it up somewhere where, where I'll be able to see it. Um, yeah, Saw 69 says, halter necks accentuate the shoulders, and that always looks good. I like getting a bit of shoulder out. I like a bit of off the shoulderiness or a bardo or, yeah. I don't I, like cold shoulder tops. They're just weird. I, I don't because I find them irritating because it's like you, you want to do that yeah. all the time. I don't know it's meant yeah. to be here and no. Yeah. And that was just a fashion one season thing. And then, you know, and then it stayed around. It's like, surely no one is still wearing this. Yeah, exactly. And yet they're still in the catalogues. People are still trying to flog them. No, no don't do it. Um, Shell Serena says she just sold a lovely J. Crew necklace, or as Bex would say, J. Le Crew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lisa says she doesn't. She doesn't want to stalk her. She wants just. She just wants to be friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brian. Lisa's actually lovely, Ashley. So don't be scared of Lisa. She's very nice. Yes. Yeah. Don't 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 be scared. She's not actually stalkery. Uh, Leanne Hill is in and says, good morning, Carla, Lex, and chat. Julie Pearson says, can she do face masks? What uh, is, is this shiv we're talking about? <laughs> just, just oh, oh, I tell you what, you could, everyone who wants to be the mask reseller could get a mask off shiv, couldn't they? We could actually get a little cottage business going on here. Now there's an idea. <laughs> Dumpster diving, Debs is in. Can you, it can you get one to me for Wednesday? Because, you know, I'm obviously the mask reseller this Wednesday. And every it's Wednesday. Always you. Always me. I thought you did a really good impression of Nick this week, by the way. Well done. I had to lose loads of weight for it, though. I believe it was the real Nick, so I thought that was really good. Yeah, I did well. I mean, I don't know. Who, who would think that I'd get the real Nick on a channel this size? I, I also had to convert the garage as well and buy loads of car parts. Just did to... it a, I, I, I appreciate the, the effort you put in. Honestly, it could be. You have to be Caroline. You have to extend yeah. the house. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure where to. I'd have to <laughs> you know. Yeah, you, bear in mind uh, that you're an end house. You've got the choice of extending out into the road or into the next one. Yeah. Extend it into the Texaco garage, maybe. <laughs> That's not a bad plan. Yeah, yeah handy if you, want, if you want some Pepsi Max. Mm. Ashley Carruthers says she does want a Lisa friend. So, yeah, Lisa count for Ashley one. <laughs> Yay. Uh, Death by Glamour says, finally, two Leannes, but spelt differently. You could have a Leanne crew. The third Leanne. The other Leanne was in earlier on. Um, ABG. Oh, no. Leanne, Leanne Hill. Oh, there was another one, wasn't I'm there? I'm sure there was. I don't know now. We've lost track of our... We've lost... This is ridiculous. We're going to have to get a bit of paper and start keeping account. Sarah Armstrong's in. Good morning, Sarah. And she says... Uh, she's a... Sub she's, I can't speak. Tell me what Sarah says. Blah, blah, blah. I'm subscribed to both your channels. We're sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> I, 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 I not a subject because we haven't bothered having a subject. Oh, no, that's true. We were talking uh, about the fact that you're not going to spend any money. Yes. Right. Um, so tell the people at home what you normally spend money on so that they know what it is you're giving up. Okay, well, I, clothes. Um more clothes stuff that i think that i need that i actually don't um a lot of i'm i'm a real sucker for like any kind of pop culture stuff 
and it always appears on like my Facebook or Instagram or something. It's like, oh, something Stanley Kubrick related, you know, Stanley Kubrick socks. I really need those. Bye. Or, you know, a Pulp Fiction dress. I need that. Bye. Or, you know, like I'm, I do, I do buy gifts for people and I did put that if there's anyone, like, cause I've been doing a video diary about this. I did say anyone's birthday this month, I'm still going to get them a present cause that's not fair. I don't, yeah, absolutely. Birthdays do not count as unnecessary spending. That mm. They don't. They absolutely bloody don't. Because it's not for you. It's, 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 no. it's. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I can't, I can't However, I cannot articulate how I feel about that, but as you can see, I feel strongly. In my mind, right, the, the, the kind of reason for sort of doing this, it's not because, okay, I do treat myself a lot, right? But it's not so much the getting the items that is the treat for me. It's the actual spending of the money. And that's why, and we get this, don't we? That's why we resellers, because it's our job to spend money. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a valid excuse hmm. to go shopping. Yeah, exactly. That is the buzz. It's in the actual, the, I honestly, I feel itchy if I don't spend money like every day. I feel weird not spending any money. So hmm. like yesterday I didn't, uh, I all I bought was some packaging supplies and it's like, oh, thank God I bought something today because I, I would feel really weird. Like, even though it's just boxes, I just bought some boxes. Yeah. Oh, thankfully I bought something. So is you that know. something you want to address in yourself? Is that something you want to kind of wean yourself out of feeling that way? Yeah, but I don't, it's, it's like a weird addiction that you, you actually can never give up, you know? It's like having a food addiction. You know, it's different to a heroin addiction because you can live without heroin. You can't live without food. You yeah, can't live without food addiction is something you have to deal with several times a day, every bloody day. Yeah, Honestly, and, yeah. And you can't, you can't ever not go shopping again, especially if that's how you earn money. So, you know, I, I, it's not the weaning myself off it. It's just the, and I would, I would say in my mind that no, I've got it under control because I'm not in debt or anything. You know, I, I was very good and I paid off the remaining balance on my credit card the other day, which again, that was a buzz because that was just pff, spending money. You know, it's silly, isn't it? It's not it, again. It's not the the things that yeah. you get. It's the the transaction that is yeah. the buzz. So is that, that's what I meant about we, not weaning yourself off spending, but weaning, weaning yourself off a feeling you need to spend. Yeah. But I'm not, I don't think I'll be able to do that. Because hmm. I think I, it's interesting. And I'm glad you're doing a video diary. We talked about it and I said, I think you should vlog this. I think you should vlog this process, even yeah. if you do a little bit every day and talk about how you feel when you get the urge and you don't do it and, and, and whether you're feeling that you're, accomplishing something or whether you're feeling that something's being taken from you or a mixture of the two i think it will be interesting to watch i'm looking forward to it yeah i can person is poking me and going is it your birthday may no it isn't ah kirsten it's not just me being a selfish cow carla's birthday is the week before mine in july yeah we're both leos if i hope they hope they let us out by then otherwise we'll have an online party and um, 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 yes, uh, where are we? Scrolling back up. Like DBG just said, she gets a buzz from paying bills. It's so sad. It's like, but no, honestly, like paying off that balance on my credit card, and I, I kept logging back on to my HSBC to see that go to zero. That was a buzz. I get a buzz when I make a voluntary credit card payment as opposed to the one they take anyway don't get any buzz from the one they take anyway that's a bill i have no choice but if i make an extra payment i feel virtuous and yeah. and adult and i've, I've done a good i'm i've been a grown up yeah. <laughs> exactly and then and then there was a weird satisfaction as well i had 11 pence in my savings account right <laughs> my hsbc receipt. that's where i was putting the money to pay my tax yeah so i Siphoning off some. Now and that you was not to pay tax anymore. You're not. You're not. Now, going I'm, now the yeah. H, now HMRC know that I'm not paying tax because I'm doing this. It's fine. No. But I had like eleven pence left in there, um, and so I just withdrew that into my bank account because I just like seeing that at zero as well. Mm. 
rather than the annoying 11 pence. There was yeah. just a satisfaction of just like completely clear. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But there's something just like, I, I don't think, I don't think I'm OCD in a way of like, I mean, look at my shelves, they're a mess. My books are in no order. My CDs are in no order. Um, I'm not OCD in that way. When it comes to anything work related, I am OCD. Like when I when I ran Blockbuster, everything was double alphabetical, um, and people couldn't understand why. And I'm like, mm -hmm. like, and every all my files were in order, all paperwork got done every day, and it was like beautifully done. Um, so if it's work, I can do it. If it's me, I can't. Mm. So this is like a trying to teach me. I think you'll find there's just as much of a buzz to be found. Not that, I've, not that I've experienced it myself, but from what I can see from other money bloggers and stuff like that, there's just as much of a buzz to be found from getting control over your spending and feeling like you're in charge of your money as there is from, from the spending as well. But you have to find the level of that buzz. Yes. I, I'm excited. Lainey wants to know how long you're going to do it for because she says she needs to save up for a fridge freezer, so she wants to live on as little as possible to get it. Um, well, I'm doing a month of like vlogging it, I'm going to try anyway, um, to see how much, like I've worked it out that I'm in a negative of 190 pounds. So not including student debt, which is not debt in my mind. Um, so not including student stuff. I'm, I owe 190 pounds back to the world. Which is amazing, really. That's absolutely amazing. I know, considering like all of my adult life, I've been in debt. I, you know, so... Mm. I could probably pay that off tomorrow if I have enough sales today and tomorrow and I'll be yeah. like, wow, zero debt free, like apart from student loans, which don't count. Um, but yeah, like that, that's, that'll be nice to get back to zero. And then it's like, see how much I can grow to kind of make me realize how much, like, I don't need new clothes, do I? <laughs> <laughs> I think the thing one of one of the things that, that could be helpful after you've done your no spend month is to then introduce a budget so that you know that actually every month I can spend this much on clothes if I want to and if I don't spend it, I can carry it over to the next month I have I'm you know like like you have a little clothing fund basically mm, no no I don't think a budget would work for me because I and again this comes from like the borderline personality and from me knowing that I am an all or nothing person. I am a, I can't have a little bit of cake. Mm. I either have no cake or all the cake. Yeah. And that's it. My mum is very good and she can just have like a little slither of cake and you know, and, and that's mm. why it's fine. I will either eat everything or eat nothing and that's it, you know? So if you give, if I said, oh, I can have 50 pound to spend on clothes, my rebellious mind will go like, can't tell me how much is my money. I'm going to spend it yeah, all. I mean, yeah, you know. So yeah. it's. Uh, I think maybe you want to know what brand of pork pork crackling you eat. Mm. I buy them off eBay. It's just called Pork Crunch. And um, uh, if you excuse me, I could probably reach up and get you some. Okay, there well, are... I'll carry on reading out comments. Kath says she doesn't like spending money. She's a real cheapskate reseller. That's Josh. Kath, you'll get on well with Josh. Ashley says, good for you, Lex. Last year, I started a journey towards a more minimal life. I was filling my house to feel less depressed and fill a void. I haven't bought new for a year, loving it. So there you go, just showing the pork crunch bag. Um, I, I couldn't go that long without spending. Like, I genuinely, I, I love having stuff. Lainey says, are you finding it harder because you aren't going to the charity shops for your business? That's probably part of it, yeah. It's it can't be for me. I'm not missing the charity shop so much because I had cut down what I bought there anyway. Because I buy the clothing in bulk, I had stopped really buying clothes in charity shops unless I saw something that was obviously amazing, which you very rarely do. So I was only really looking at the bric a brac, and I'm not missing that so much. But I'm really missing the car boots. Really missing it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I said she missed the beginning. Is it a time limited no buy or just ongoing? So it's it's for the month of May, isn't it? Is the plan the month of May to see like how much I. Um, you know, saving that month. I mean, if it's a shocking amount, say if I if I end up at the end of the month with like a grand, and I'd be like, shit, that that's a thousand pounds that I haven't spent that I've now, you know, have got. Mm. Then like, what if I do two months? What if I do three months? You know, I've just remembered that I can do this with comments. <laughs> 
Um, so we talk about an NSI account and premium bonds, then you are buying and investing with the buzz of once a month, perhaps winning pennies. We've got um, we've got premium bonds. I think, Mum. Yeah. How much have we got in premium bonds? How much have we got invested in premium bonds? Uh, £505. Pounds. £505. The £5 pounds is one that my um, my grandparents bought my mum when she was a kid. In 1964. In 1964. Oh. It's never won. As, have you ever won anything on any of them? <laughs> no. Not a thing. No. I, don't, I don't really understand how premium bond prizes work, whether there's just one big prize every month, whether you can get little diddy prizes. There's, yeah, there's lots of little diddy prizes as well. There's like one one or two big prizes, isn't there? One big prize. One big prize and then a bunch of like, like smaller ones. Yeah. And then go to like mm -hmm. um, yeah. I've never even got like a fiver from it or anything. <laughs> Julie says, I know what you mean about spending money. You feel like you need to buy something and treat yourself in this strange world. The thing is, I've always treated myself all of the time. I always treat myself every day. <laughs> Ian says, as a Yorkshire resident, can we please stop talking about spending money? I'm having cold sweats here. <laughs> Your mum's from Yorkshire, you know, the same. <laughs> and there's Josh, look, ah, spending money, I don't know how to do that. And yet we could, we keep trying to teach him, he just won't learn. <laughs> oh God, it's all shot off again. Um, Leanne's just asked, like, does does having a goal in mind, such as a nice holiday, um, help? Um, yes, like definitely. the The idea is that some point after this, we will go on like a girly holiday and stuff. So part of it is saving for that. I have got another type of savings account as well, but that's like that's literally like a, a you know stuffing under the bed kind of situation. <laughs> <laughs> physical i am saving these things to cash in later kind of thing you know things that are worth money that will always be worth money that i'm going to cash in at some point that's also a savings account for a pictures of, um, um, sorry uh, ashley says martin lewis money saving expert genuine has saved me hundreds of pounds check out his website there's loads of ways of ways to save yeah 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 it's good and I, i've you know i have done a lot of the things that he says on there, you know, switching whatevers and stuff like that. But there's only so much of that you can do, isn't there? You know, like how you were saying the other week, like, um, oh, did you know that if you didn't buy coffee in coffee shops, you would save this much? Well, what if you don't do that anyway? Yeah, yeah there's a certain element about that. When you look at these things, where you can save money, I'm like, don't do any of them anyway, and I still haven't got any bloody money. <laughs> Yeah, like, Jamie, I think this is relating to the clothing budget that we were saying. How much would make it worthwhile? 200, 400 would it have to be a grand, you know? Um, oh. See, that's difficult. Like, because there's, if I had like 200 pounds right, right now and, and like, okay, you could spend it, then I'd probably go straight on, you know, to like Boohoo or maybe even Westwood again. And and I would just blow it on some stuff. But if I had a grand, I would probably save that towards something even bigger again. Hmm. Like a small amount, I can blow straight away, like on frivolous stuff. But if it was a bigger amount. So yeah. lots of small amounts are completely guilt free, but large amounts carry responsibility. Yeah. And then you discover that you've done all these small amounts and spent 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, Leanne says, does having a goal in mind such as a nice holiday or a few help you could save and spend on holidays you mentioned place you want to go? So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, Leah, people are saying what they've won on premium bonds and, and nobody's saying they've won a lot, in fairness. Although uh, Leanne says that somebody in Ireland won 36K. Nice. Oh, sorry, 38K. Uh, Lisa Fenn's in. She says, good morning. So your Lisa count is, I think you've now outnumbered me, Lisa Wise. I think I've got four Claire's and you oh no, I think we're I think we're equal. I think we've got equal teams. No, it was four Claire's and three Lisa's, wasn't it? Lisa J, Lisa Heidinger, Lisa who was on her exercise bike, Richardson, I want to say, but I'm wondering if I'm yes. wrong now. And now Lisa Fenn. Look we're at me, no Lisa's, I do know stuff. Well then. I mean so, ultimately, like the thing that I'm sort of like saving for, um, well, it's not even to aim for a thousand. I reckon I could save this. This sounds terrible. I reckon I could save a thousand pound quite easily, but then beyond that, I want to save like 
five grand or six grand or seven grand so I can get my tummy tuck. That's mm. what I want. That's ultimately what I'm saving for, I guess. For me, as soon as it mounts to a, a sizable sum, and for, when I say a sizable sum, I could literally mean like 500, it starts playing on my mind. It starts becoming a useful sum of money. So mm. I'm fine if I've got savings for a specific thing. Here is the holiday money. I need to save this much by this date. No problem. That will not get touched. Open-ended savings. Here are some savings. I have some savings. What are they for? They're not for anything in particular. Oh, I need garden furniture. I could get that. I've got enough money in my savings for that, but it wasn't for garden furniture, you know, and yet I will use it for garden furniture because I've got it in my I'm savings. Right. I've got that money. And that's the problem for me is that I... Yeah, non-specific money burns yeah. a hole in my pocket, definitely. Yeah, if it's got if it's got a purpose, then I can and then I can not touch it. But if it hasn't got a purpose, it's um, mm. yeah, it definitely burns a hole. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, I've just put my shoes back on because my feet were cold and my shoes are wet, and that's worse. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my shoes are wet when I walk the dogs. Yeah, double car. I'm also missing the car boots. Josh says he spends all his money on investments. Thing is, that's what Josh, the weird little boy, finds exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Josh will get excited because something has gone up by 4p. You and right. I are looking at each other going. Yeah. Or going like, Josh, I just found 5p on the floor. Yeah. Here you go. I have yeah. made you more money. <laughs> <laughs> um, where was I? Oh, uh, Bad Wolf wants to know what's the Sioux crew count. I think we're only on about two Sioux. We're a bit yeah. short of Sioux this morning. Uh, Rebecca Turner says, I feel really good about spending, but last week I spent about uh, £60 on eBay for jewellery, including a Swarovski, which I really struggled to say, brooch, which could be worth over 200 That would be nice. But that's business expenditure. That's fine. That's an investment. Yeah. Different. yeah. Katie says, I won a grand on premium bonds a couple of years ago. £50 this month. I buy as many as I can each month. Are they like, do they cost £1 each or £10 each or 100 Wait, I, I don't really... Obviously, at some point, you could buy a £5 one because somebody bought one for your mum in 1964. But can you still buy a £5 one is what I mean. I don't know. I think, I think there is a minimum purchase, I think. I don't know. And also, how quickly can you cash one in if you need to? Because that's the thing for me. If I tie my money up into something that takes a while to cash it out, then I, then I start to fret about that as well. I'm like, what if I need it? What if I need it? I think I, I used to have like a 90-day savings account. Um, and that didn't work for me, obviously. Because, <laughs> hmm. like, yeah, I'm not going to give you three months' notice. See, I had a post office account that I had to give notice on, and that did work for me. But I had to have other savings as well. I had to have, I had to have that had to be my. You can't get at it, and I also had to have some accessible because, like I said, I get in a, a fret if I can't get at it. Lisa says she's got the money saved and more than enough to buy a Nintendo Switch Lite and the new Animal Crossing game, which Natalie just bought herself. But she's too tight to spend the money. Sun broke her bed, so she just paid hundred and fifty pounds for a new one. Oh. I would just sleep on the floor and have your game if you want. <laughs> yeah, I I just downloaded the the small Animal Crossing game onto my brand new iPad. And yeah. that's quite a nice way of killing half an hour. Bex says, if I have savings and I don't have a goal for it, I look at it a lot and think, hmm, that could be used. That's me. It's fine if it's got a label. If it's the savings for this, then that's fine. But if it hasn't got if it hasn't got a label, I, I could use that. I could spend yeah. that. Yeah, what can I spend that on? That's what goes from what can I what can I spend what can I buy with that? And there you go, Lainey's got a suggestion for you. Uh wouldn't work wouldn't work um i do wear secondhand clothes obviously i wear them loads but i wouldn't get the satisfaction um, and i think you would rebel against it as well it's because it's a rule yeah, yeah. jones in she says good morning um Karen says she needs 4k to pay off her debts it seems like a huge mountain for her but it was 6.5k less than two years ago exactly i mean that's you've done a third of it in less than two years which means you're you, if you carry on at that rate, that debt is going to be gone within four years. Yeah, you know, and you you pay that you pay them off. So this is off Martin's money saving. So pay the one that you've got the biggest amount off, mm -hmm. and so say you pay a hundred pound a month, and that is divided between like three things, right? So 
pay off as much as you can of the one with the highest interest amount and the highest thing on it. Then when it comes to the next one, so you pay that one off, when it comes to the next one, still pay a hundred pound a month because you've already got it in your head that you're paying a hundred pound a month. So carry on. And then the next one will be gone in like double quick time. And then your third one will be gone in like seconds. I think that's called the avalanche method. Ah. And I think it's the opposite to the snowball method. Although I might be wrong. If somebody in the chat is listening to this and going, Carla's talking shit, please do say so. The snowball method is when you pay off the smallest one first. And then right. you carry on using that money, you pay off the next one and so on and so forth. Um, because it because you get rid of all the little ones because the interest you're paying on all the little ones is adding up as well. And I think the one you did where you've described it is the avalanche when you go from the top down instead of the bottom up. And I'm sure I think both have equal I don't know, I would pay off the no. biggest one first, I think. Like the ones with the highest interest rates. Yeah. You know. I think the largest debt isn't necessarily the highest interest, is it? That's the thing. No. You could have a bank loan that you're only paying twenty pound interest on a month, hmm. ten grand, and you could have a provident loan for a thousand pound, which you're paying four hundred quid interest on a month. So it's yeah. definitely, definitely sitting down and do. And I think that's what puts most people off is the fact that you've got to sit down and actually do some thinking. Yeah. Whereas if you just carry on making the minimum payments every month and never do anything else, you haven't got to do any thinking, have you? You know. True. <laughs> And definitely try and pay like a little bit more than than you can. Like I looked at my credit card and I was, even though I, would, I didn't owe a lot on it, it was only like 500 pounds. Um, I was paying my minimum payment, which is 13 pound a month. But a fiver of that was just on interest. It's like, oh, mm. Jesus, you know. Yeah. That's like my Simply B account. When I look at how much I'm paying interest each month and the balance isn't coming down, I'm like, you need to deal with that. This is a really interesting one from Craig. It just looks like a throwaway comment, but it really resonates with me. When my money goes up to nice rounded numbers, I can't spend it. If I have £500, I don't want to mm. break into my £500. Yeah. If I had £498, I have £98 that I can go and spend. Yeah. Well, it's like I'm getting down to my next nice round number so I can play with 98 quid. Yeah. What's the logic in that brain? What are you doing? <laughs> no, it's like having a, a crisp 50 pound note, isn't it? It's like, oh, but I don't want to break into that because that's yes. nice. That's yes. nice and clean and lovely. Yeah. No, yeah, I don't. You have words in your brain sometimes. Like, What's going on? You're, you're being stupid. Sue says you should not browse the online shops, Lex, especially, especially Vivian Westwood. I know, but they send me emails like every other day and I go, oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> Um, Shell says she likes specific savings like me. Tom likes rainy day savings. She works in specific, I can't speak. She worked in financial services, watched people moving money around and then passing it on in inheritance and on again. Yeah, what's the, what's the point? Yeah. Um, oh, Kate, I think this is related to the premium bonds. It's 25 minimum to buy a, a premium bond. That's worth knowing, you see. Yeah, Lisa says the same. Premium bonds start at 25. Katie says it's like a bank, you get it quite quick. So it's a few days. That would work for me because that would know that that would mean that. I could probably, for example, go, Lex, can you lend me 200 quid urgently and I'll get my premium bonds out and pay you it back in three, three days' time. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's plenty, not, <laughs> but there are people who I would be quite happy to ask for a very short-term loan if I knew that I was going to be able to give it back to them when I was able to cash out a premium bond or whatever. So that would work for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Shell says their immediate access, you have to be hold them for a month before they go into any drawers. Yeah. Uh, Patricia won £1,000 on the postcode lottery. See, Anthony's in the postcode lottery and he curses that nobody else in our street is. <laughs> He's like, the whole point is other people are supposed to be in it as well. <laughs> Aww. Daisy May says, have three savings accounts, short-term aims, long-term aims, and emergency cover. See, some people are very sensible. Yeah. You know? Um, I've seen it scrolled off again. I'm, I'm going back up. Bear with. Daisy Major said I should unsub from the Vivian Westwood um, emails. That no, that's not. <laughs> She's right though. You should at least for May. No. <laughs> no. No. Okay. No. Um, I, I just won't push the button. I'll look at them and daydream and go like, "Oh, that's lovely," but I know I won't do it. Poor Josh's stocks are down. Um. Um, Katie says her mother-in-law has pots all over the house. She has a low income, but it's amazing. It's saving up money for projects and Christmas. That's me. I have lots of little tins and they've all got little labels on and this is for this and this is for that. And yeah, that's no, me. All over. 
Yeah. Um, Kate Kinder says her husband won 15K on a horse race. Nice. Wow. Ashley says, what about a money buddy? Like, you keep your budget and give the rest to a family member to keep. My husband's mum still saves his money for the football season, but I don't think you'd do it. I think you'd rebel against it. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I would I would probably lie. I would probably go, you know, give my mum £200 and go like, um, all right, you know, give that to me, you know, whenever. Um, and I would sneakily, I would cheat myself, basically. I, I'd hide, like, some money away to spend stuff and, you know. Yeah. Mike says, due to be in hospital last year, he saved just under 5K because he wasn't buying his own food or fuel for the car, general junk that you would buy and waste his money on. I don't know what he got cut off. Oh, there we go. There's the rest of us to it. So he's just bought an iPad. <laughs> the little bit went down for the day. I love my iPad. It's great. Lisa says, please say hi to my four-month-old granddaughter, Ruby. She's sitting on my knee watching you both. Hey, Ruby. Hi, she Ruby. Like, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> That's what kids like, don't they? Oh, so, yeah. And I dare, I, dare, I dare say there's some other people watching who've really enjoyed that. So lovely. Sure. <laughs> um, Lisa Hiding has known someone who won 50K competitively playing a PlayStation game. Wow. I don't think that's me either. Lainey says she had about 6K of debt, but she's down to 1,500. So that's well amazing. Done. Well done. Ashley says, top cashback gives you money back on eBay purchases, and I think postage bought by via the eBay site as well. Not sure. I have mm -hmm. noticed. Has anybody got the PayPal debit card. I know you've got one, Lex, and I know Josh has got one. Um, they've started paying out all the time. Has yours yeah. done that? Yeah. So um, you, you pay out once, the PayPal debit card gives you 1% back on purchases. Yeah. Every and four months they pay back now. I'm sure, I feel like they're paying more often than that. Oh, really? I seem to, every That's now right. and again, I seem to be getting a couple of quid dribbling in. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it, but I just find it was odd. They just pay out once a month, and they seem to have increased their frequency on payments. Um, what is also... Uh, or it was it was good, but not so much at the moment. But boom twenty five. If you uh, you can also what they call it booming your eBay purchases through that. So basically, like you go on to boom twenty five, and then you click on the eBay link, and then you do whatever like shopping you want to do. Um, but one in twenty five transactions, like you win your money back. Yeah. Um, and I've won twice, no, three times on there. And you can either get it back as cash or gift vouchers. And I got it back in um, Primark gift vouchers. So at one point I had like £75 to spend in Primark. Mm. I've got like 40 quid left. That's spend. definitely worth doing then. Mm. Cool. Joan says she's had two crispy £50 notes for years and won't touch them. Don't keep them too long, Joan. They'll be, um, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be, they'll be replaced by the new ones. <laughs> yeah. Spend them. Spend them. Uh, where are we? Andrea says it's just send us Nick. He just doesn't like to spend money unless he can make money from it. That's Josh. Yeah, and even he like to spend money, even if he could make money from it. <laughs> oh, apparently, um, apparently, Lisa's granddaughter has dribbled back at you, Lex. So that's nice. Lovely. Thanks. Nice. Glad I could oh, be yeah. here. She's got the debit card. And she wondered what all those little payments were. That's it. They've, they've started paying very frequently. But I don't understand why. Massive Action says, I'm now a limited company. I pay myself £791 a month this tax year. Take the rest as dividends. Good way to save money personally. Just pay 7.5% tax dividends personally. I have absolutely no idea what any of that meant. But I'm, I'm not saying that, it doesn't, that you've got it wrong. I just don't understand any of it. But it sounds good. Same. No <laughs> idea. <laughs> Kay Gilson's image says, sorry, I'm late to the party. I'll watch back later. Lainey says, when I was first able to buy clothes that fit, I went a bit nuts on my Simply Be account, spending £500 on myself. I don't even wear some of it. Prior to that, I only had three items of clothing. If you don't wear it, Lainey, get selling. Get it shifted. Make some money back. Yeah, absolutely. And then buy some more. Clothing sells. Yeah. Seriously. And then and then absolutely buy some more clothes because... Nia you know, says she saves all of her loose change except pound coins. It all goes into a TARDIS money box. She counts it once a month, puts it in. Order. Now, I have a big tin under the desk. It's the big tin that I bought from the car boot sale last year. At one point, I had it behind the computer, but it echoed and made the, the voices weird. So it's on the floor down there. This is the one I dropped on my toe. Mm. Yeah. Were you here that day? No, but um, you Some... sent pictures of your bruise. Yeah. Anyway, so that, that is full of coins. And every now and again, if I get really skinned, I take some out and go and put them in the bank. But at some point, I'll pay that into my savings. But I keep my pound coins in my car boot purse. Um, so that I've got always... So, so when I come home and every day, I take all my change out of my purse. Not that I've been going out every day. But you know what I mean, on the days when we used to go out, 
And then pound coins go into my car boot purse and other coins go into the tin. And that means I've always got a pound, a pound coin budget for Sundays. Not that we're going anywhere on Sundays. <laughs> oh, and this is a massive action. It's a shame the government take a chunk, chunk in VAT from the company, which is all my work getting taxed when you think about it. Yeah, you can't avoid taxes. Even if you think you found a way around them, they'll get you. Unless yeah, you're out there, which is. There's only two things to be certain in life, death and taxes. Oh, Patricia says weekly while this situation is that is that the PayPal debit card? Is that, is that what they're doing weekly at the moment? Is that what? Yeah, maybe that's it. Jane says she's got a royal family swear box and it's getting rather full. <laughs> if I had a swear box, I'd bankrupt myself. See, I don't, I don't have a, um, I, I, I don't do the putting the change in the jar thing. Mm. Um, I would much rather be that annoying person at the front of the counter that goes like, right, can I pay sixty-seven pence? Like in cash and the rest on card, because I don't, I don't really like having change in my purse. So yeah, I, don't I just it my spend it. In. Well, you know, I could not, I could not walk around. You know, some people literally have got a, Anthony gets his wallet out and it's bulging with all his with all his coinage because he also yeah. doesn't spend his coinage because he can't be bothered with it. But I'm like, why carry it around? Get it out of there. Like this is my wallet right now, and I think there is no cash in it. I've got a gift card. Actually, no, I've used that one, um, I think. Or oh, there's a small balance. There is no notes, and I don't think there's any cash in there. No, and there's no cash in there either. I, I have zero cash, zero actual cash. Joan says, are there new £50 notes? Ooh, I think they're going to be. I don't think the new ones are out yet, but they're replacing all of the notes, aren't they? I do have oh, an it's room in it. My press has got £65 in it. Look at that. Didn't know I, I I knew I had some money in there, but I didn't know I had not that much. I thought I'd spent some of it. Um, but yeah, no coinage. Look, my zip bit is always empty. Because I take all my coinage out and put it in my jar. But I've started just before we changed, just before we went into lockdown, I started a new money system, which I haven't really gone on with because we haven't been going out. And I was gonna do a video on it, and I still might, but um I don't know if anybody'd want to see it, to be honest. Yeah. Um, so the, the the idea was that I would give myself a budget of £100 per week. There, there it is. Look, a budget of £100 per week and divide it up. And, and I bought this. Oh. Pack, and I broke it down and I've got little plastic pockets in there and they're all labelled. So that one says, that one very sadly, <laughs> that one says eating out. Oh. I can't eat out anymore. But the money's still there for when we're allowed to eat out. And then there's one that just says Carla, and that's supposed to be for things that I want just for me. And one that says fuel, and that's for fuel, funnily enough. I mean, some of them are self One for business. And all the money is still in there from before lockdown because we haven't been out and spent. So I've gone back to using my ordinary purse because the only thing I'm really buying at the moment is groceries. Um, and, yeah, all the money's still sitting in there. So I will go on to that. When, when life goes back to normal, I will go on to that system, and I might do a video about it. So, um, I need a new wallet. It's a bit, it's a bit. You do a bit, um, but not in May, eh? Because you're not buying stuff. No, Harris Tweed though is lovely. Mm. I want to get rid of it. Uh, Joe says my daughter has a limited company and was paying herself eight hundred pound a month. She's just giving herself a pay rise. Good for her. She Lainey just... says need new clothes. See, Lainey knows about not shopping. She has three skirts, five tops, two shoes, one for each foot, presumably. Three. <laughs> Three jumpers in that poncho that I wear. Uh, Kirsten's got something to say to you. As a shopkeeper, I hate people who want to pay card for a two pound sale. They'll sit. They have to pay a fee, don't they? You have to pay. The um, shop pays a fee for every transaction. So, yeah, and it's a flat rate fee. It's not a percentage. I wouldn't do it in a small store that where I knew that there was a fee. But I mean, if you're doing it in like Tesco or the garage, yeah, because they pay a you know standard thing. Yeah, Sue says she's not actually touched her purse for eight weeks. Um, Lisa said we could have done a May budgeting challenge. It's a bit late for May because we're already in and I've started spending and Lex hasn't, so she'd win. So we'll but maybe another time. <laughs> don't tell me I've got a budget. I don't Can have you know, a She loves the purse. Can I ask where you got it? I'm not sure. What, I did, I, 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 do we mean the Harris Tweed purse or my Radley purse or the Firefax thing? Well, this was just off eBay. And my Radley purse is from Radley. And the 
if, if you're referring to this one, it's actually a file of facts. And if I could remember what it was called, I could tell you. It'll say inside. It's a Safiano. It's a, it's a Safiano compact zip around. So the, there's several different Safianos. And they're not all compact and they're not all zip. So, yeah, I, like I said, I might do a video on it. Lainey's saying yes, do one. The little folders I got from Amazon, the decals I ordered from a lady on Etsy. Um, and, yeah, it was going to it was gonna work really well was the plan. And then, well, it has worked really well. You've got loads yeah, of money. <laughs> so um, I bought it on eBay. Claire, Claire and Carrie are both asking where I got it from. I got it on eBay, and it's I will I will type the name of it in there now so that you can. Halifax Safiano Compact Zipped. Um, they had them on Amazon as well, but they were more money on Amazon. Uh, it actually worked out cheaper on on eBay. So. So yeah, it's actually Filofax. It's still got the Filofax pages in there and everything as well. But and it's got. If I can find one on Amazon, I'll link it below this video. And then if you go in through my Amazon link, I'll get loads of money. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> it's got. Um, it's got card sections. It's got a zip section. It's got a slip pocket there. It, then I put the um, plastic wallets in, which I bought on Amazon. And then it's still got the – I took some of the pages out because obviously it had all of the usual file of pages. took them out. Still got them in at the back. There's another stretchy section and a load more card pockets. So you could easily use it just as your proper full-time purse um, and move your cards into it if you wanted to. Rebecca says the Filofax website is closed. Yeah, I didn't get it direct from Filofax. I said I got it on eBay. I don't think it's a current one, so they possibly wouldn't have it on Filofax website anyway. I think it might be a, you know, a whatever that word is. Discontinued. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> we've been going for an hour and 10 minutes. I don't know if we've been interesting today, but I've had fun. That's okay. I mean, only seems to be ladies left in the chat so we obviously bored them all at some point with the talk of hair and <laughs> we win okay lisa says i've got a question i see primark posting videos of what's in their shops but the shops are not open so what's the point of their monthly youtube videos marketing they are building up the want within you they are ensuring that when they are open you will all rush in there like crazy and strip them bare. That's what the point of that is. Can't wait. Uh, Cosmic Kate says you can get hole punch that will cut holes in all sizes of file effects. Yes, you can. I've got a hole punch here somewhere as well. Um, Carrie, I will link the plastic zip holders below this video for you. I'll find I'll find them in my order history and link them for you. Um, yeah, so people are saying they have enjoyed it. So it's not been 163 people watching. Do hit the like button if you have enjoyed it. Do hit the like button if you haven't enjoyed it. Just hit the like button. Just do it. You know you want to. Um, if you're watching this after the effect, after the effect, after the event, that after, the fact. after the fact, after or the fact, if you're watching, the watching this later, pass a comment down below. <laughs> Karen says this was an extremely sensible chat. Oh, interesting, sensible chat. Well, we'll try not to do that again next week. And Ian says, man count one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then Mike as well. Mike was there, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, Mike was there as well. So we've hung on to a couple of the blokes. The rest of the blokes have gone off in a huff. <laughs> thank you. Oh, Gem Singh says it's been her first live and she's loved it. Well, welcome, Gem, and thank Aww. you for joining us. It's been lovely to have you. Um, Nadine says it's nice, relaxing entertainment before the Tesco madness ensues. <laughs> And Curse oh. says I should not steal Primark's marketing, start showing off my stock, hope they rush back in. What I would do, don't you don't have to do what I would do. I don't know why I start sentences like that, Kirsten. You could tell me to fuck off if you want. What what you could do, Kirsten, what might be a nice thing, is if you changed your window display in the shop every month or every day or every week, or however often you could be bothered, you could put a card in the window saying these items are still available to buy despite the fact I'm closed. Please telephone on, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Yeah, totally. Yeah, just because you're not just because your shop isn't open doesn't mean you need to stop selling, does it? Because people might be going out for a walk, looking in your window display, and going, "I wish I could buy that." Yeah. I don't know. You might not want to do that. You might go piss off, Carla, with your bright ideas. That would be fair enough. People do. Okay. <laughs> oh, Ant's cooking something. It smells really good. Onions. He's cooking onions. Ah, oh, Bisto. Right. Yeah. Nah. Thank wait, wait. you. Sorry. No, we're, we're, we're having out. We're, we're so, sorry. 
we're having our Asda delivery become between three and four and there's a whole chicken in it. So we're going to cook a chicken and have a chicken dinner. You know, they're going to substitute you a can of chicken soup, don't you? We could not supply the chicken you offered, you ordered. Here is a live parrot from our pet section. Ah, uh, <laughs> get it and eat it. <laughs> right. Uh, Ian says he's standing waving to Auntie Sue. Auntie Sue! We are going to go. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. We'll be here all day. Thank you so much to everyone in the chat for joining us this morning. Um, love you all. You are it's, it's fabulous to have your company on a Sunday morning. Um, thank you so much to the wonderful Lex for keeping me going on Sunday mornings as well when I've got nothing nothing to say whatsoever. My pleasure. And um, we'll say goodbye to the chat. Take care, everybody. Have a lovely Sunday. Have a good week. Um, back on uh, Tuesday, the waffle will be out Tuesday. Mastery seller on Wednesday. Obviously, it's Lex. It's always Lex. Oh. Something coming out Thursday. I don't know what. It might be a Q and A video. I've no idea, to be honest. I need to go and follow the smell of the onions. Bye. Awkward waving. Bye. <laughs>